Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 7 courses. For this unit you'll need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should also wherever possible use examples from the strategic senior manager and leader development activity taking place in your own organisation or business sector, as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues, uh, we strongly advise that you should also discuss them with senior managers and senior HR and training and development specialists within your own organisation. Each section should be approximately 375 words, but this is flexible up to around 450 words, not including graphics or illustrations, so you'll need to keep your responses focused on what is being specifically asked for in each section. Section 1. A simple brief discussion is required here on the similarities, differences and relationships focusing on how integrated or overlapping these are for most managers and leaders, uh, but also how separate they can be for a few leaders. Here you need to select and describe a few corporate and strategic level decisions, such as deciding on a major change in the product or services portfolio, moving into a new market or region, merging with another organisation, or deciding to attempt to change the culture, and then say how each of the main established management and uh, leadership styles will or might impact on the decision making process, positively or negatively, and explain why. On the last bullet point, there is currently a strong agreement that the most effective leadership style is a contingency or situational one, but here you need to discuss whether the other established and more narrow styles can be adapted effectively in response to different situations. Section 2. Here you need to name and briefly summarise the established leadership theories and models and then describe how each one might impact on an organisation's strategy. You'll need to discuss this against the background of the different types of organisational strategies that are available. And here you'll need to describe a situation in which an organisation has chosen to follow a particular strategic direction, such as diversification or expansion, and outline a leadership strategy that would support that particular strategic direction. Section 3. You need to describe a particular specific organisational strategic situation, such as the organisation responding to the recession or to the need to diversify, and describe what evaluation and or assessment methods could be used to assess the leadership skills needed by the organisation in those circumstances. Following on from the above, you should describe one positive and one negative change to the situation or scenario you have used here and describe how you would plan for the need to have different or additional leadership skills ready to respond to that situation or scenario. Section 4. For bullet point 1, you need to describe a particular specific leadership role, for example, owner-manager of a newly formed company, head of a new international division, head or MD of an underperforming division or company, or perhaps a manager implementing a major change, such as relocation, reorganisation, changing the services and product portfolio, or a response to the recession, and describe what evaluation or assessment methods could be used to assess the leadership skills needed, and how you would plan to take action for the development of appropriate leadership skills required to respond to those needs. For bullet point two, there is a wide range of planning techniques, but the, the core of most of these is very similar. Here you need to look at the planning methods you used in the point above and evaluate that method and the alternative planning methods that could have been used. Don't forget, you need to write a reflective statement and add a list of sources of information and references showing any books, websites, articles, case studies, reports, internal documents and people interviewed that you drew on to complete this assignment. Here is a list of websites you should find useful when completing this assignment. And if you need any further help or guidance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.